I, like everyone else, was super bullish at the top of the last bull market. But unlike many of your favorite YouTubers, when I started to see us making lower lows, I kept it real, even though that wasn't the popular thing to do at the time. Here's me on January 3rd, 2022. Bitcoin has been in a pretty precarious situation recently, and it looks like the whole crypto market is sitting right on top of support in danger of falling a little bit lower. I really hate to say it, but the only real catalyst that I can think of coming up in the next month or so is that people have actually finished all of their tax harvesting and they could be looking for new investments going into the new year. So we could be seeing a little bit of a short-term rally over the next couple of weeks as people re-enter the markets, but I don't really think that we're going to be seeing any parabolic movements probably because there's not really any big real catalyst and there is a lot of uncertainty in the markets. Also, if you look right here at the daily charts for Bitcoin, you can see that we are riding the bottom of this upward trending support line and hopefully we will be bouncing from here. But if we do dip below that and we make a lower low right here, then we could be going down pretty significantly after that. This flash crash from a few weeks back, we could actually fill that wick back out like I was saying that we probably would a long time ago. And if we fall down any lower than this wick and make any lower lows, then I'm just going to say right now it's probably not going to be looking very good for the next few months. That was on January 3rd, and right after that we did start to see a little bit of a rise as people started to re-enter the market after tax season but then we did start to see a huge dump and it was pretty bad over the next few months as i said it would be we didn't hold that support and as i said there wasn't very much support underneath us and after we broke down below those levels we just continued to dump for months and months after that as crypto winter really took hold then on january 5th i tried to warn everybody about the incoming cataclysm that the fed was bringing but people just unsubbed and left a bunch of hate in the comments. Ooh wee, here we go again. The Fed just came out with some really bad news and the markets have started to dump. It doesn't really look like much so far, but it might just be the beginning. And while this is really nothing compared to some of the dips that we've seen in the past few months, I think this could be possibly the beginning of a pretty catastrophic dip that's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. I don't want to scare you guys, but the Fed has really just come out and changed their tune about inflation and how they're going to be handling it, and we could see a repeat of 2018 or even maybe worse. Then after that, before anybody else, I started to call the ultimate signal that would eventually lead to the next bull run. Here's me on January 9th of 2022. Right here we have the daily charts for Bitcoin, and as you can see, we do have a possible downward wedge right here. Nobody seems to be actually talking about this, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why. But I think that this is a really great sign because these usually break out with about a 68% chance of going to the upside. We could definitely bounce off of the top of this downward trending resistance line on this wedge and come back down to the bottom of the wedge one more time, dipping this RSI farther down into the oversold territory. And I think that would be the perfect opportunity to be buying a really great dip before we go breaking back out to the upside because these actually do have a breakout target of the top of the wedge. Again, people called me a fool in the comments. Following my instincts, a small band of loyal followers and I held on with diamond hands through the brutal depths of the bitter crypto winter. And all the while, we continued to dollar cost average like good little degens. Here's a clip from September 3rd of 2022 when Bitcoin was down at $19,797 just before the FTX collapse. Because if I really zoom out and go back here to the daily chart, you can see that we are in this really longer term downward wedge indicated by this white line right here and this blue line. So whenever we do break out of this, the price target for that is probably gonna be the top of the wedge, which means back to the all time highs eventually. This doesn't mean we're gonna be going up in a straight line from there. It just means that we're probably not gonna be making any lower lows until we actually do go back to the all time highs again. We could still definitely trade sideways and it could even take a couple years to get back up to the all time high because as you can see, this wedge has been going on for about a year, so it's probably gonna take a while to get back to the top. Nobody saw the FTX collapse coming, and admittedly, I was using a linear chart in the beginning, but all of us make mistakes. Soon I realized the error of my ways, and I switched to a logarithmic chart, doubling down on the prophecy I had foreseen. Here's the clip in question from December 30th, 2022. All I know is that life-changing wealth is made during bear markets, and right now we're definitely in a bear market. So don't miss this opportunity to make life-changing wealth and buy crypto while others are fearful, because there will probably never be a better investment opportunity in all of our lifetimes. Right here we have the logarithmic chart for Bitcoin, and as you can see we are bouncing off of this trend line that we have been bouncing off of since 2017, 
And unless we break down below this, this looks like a perfect place to bounce and begin the next part of the bull market. Also, we are currently trapped within this downward wedge, and these have only about a 10% failure rate, with the price target being the top of the wedge. And if that wasn't enough, there is also a bullish divergence right here on the RSI, which usually does happen at the bottom of the bear market and indicate that we're about to be going back to the upside. That was when Bitcoin was sitting at $16,583 after the FTX collapse, and ever since then I've been saying that I didn't think Bitcoin was going to make a lower low because FTX was such a big deal that anybody that was going to be capitulating probably would have done it at that time, and I thought that was going to be the bottom of the market. So again, the charts signaled to me that a change was imminent, and I cried out into the abyss that a change was forthcoming. But lo, the masses would still not hear my cries as the algorithm would still not bless me with impressions. Here's me in January 12th of 2023, right after we broke out of this downward wedge that I had been talking about before anybody else. If I zoom out here a little bit, you can see that this trend line is actually forming a giant downward wedge that we've been in since the top of the bull market. These have about a 10% failure rate and the price target for these is actually the top of the wedge, which would mean a new all-time high. But that doesn't mean we're going to be going straight to the new all-time high. We could actually just go sideways for a long time here. A break out of this downward wedge, if it is actually confirmed, would really just mean that we're probably not going to be making a lower low. And we could definitely go sideways before we ultimately do fill this thing up and go back up to the top of the wedge here. If I zoom out here though to the weekly chart, it is looking super bullish in my opinion and while it is really hard to decide that this could possibly be the bottom of the bear market just because the sentiment has been so low i do believe though if we do look back on this time and this does actually turn out to be the bottom of the bear market then it's going to be looking really obvious in retrospect but right now as you know the emotions just make it hard to actually decide that this could be the bottom we are right now bouncing off of this trend line that we have been bouncing off of since at least 2017. And if I do actually go back here a little bit farther back from 2017, you can see that we have interacted with it more in the past. However, it has been support since 2017. And with that coinciding with this downward wedge, I think this could be a really strong indication that we are at the bottom. As we broke out of the depths of the shadows, I continued to spread the message in the hopes that just a few more wandering DGENs would stumble upon the prophecy and discover the way. My subscriber count continued to dwindle, but still I pressed on. As the failing economy continued to weigh on my finances and I was unable to release video updates as frequently, I still remained dedicated to this community, posting banger updates, perfectly calling incoming opportunities for gains in my Discord. Here's a post from me on March 10th of 2023 saying that I found a hammer in the daily chart and that it was bullish. Here again you can see the same hammer indicated on the chart that's actually currently live, and right after that we started to see some pretty parabolic movements. Once more on April 9th of 2023, just a few weeks back, I said it looks like we're breaking out of this symmetrical triangle with a price target of just over $30,000. Looking at the chart, you can see that this actually played out perfectly. Luckily, a few loyal brothers remain and they were rewarded with sweet tendies. A Discord link is down in the description, and it's free. Then, after perfectly calling the entirety of the bear market, when Bitcoin rebounded around 90% and everybody who was previously bearish finally started to flip bullish, saying that the bull market is back on and line only go up from here, I warned you that this pullback that we're currently experiencing was incoming. In the meantime though, however, it looks like we have been seeing a pretty big pump and a rally of about 100% as I said before, and we do have this possible bearish divergence right here, indicated by the higher highs on the price and these lower lows here, on the daily chart for the RSI. But like I've said a lot in the past, we aren't going to go to the upside in a straight line forever, and eventually we are probably going to be seeing some kind of a retracement of 20% or even more than that. By following the charts and not my emotions, I will continue to navigate the markets and share my thoughts with my loyal subscribers. Hopefully the Bogdanovs will bless our small community with tasty dips and face melting rips along the way. But still to this day, only 63% of my viewers are subscribed. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for sticking through through the bear market. I know it's been tough. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, then I've only got one question for you. What are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Bye. This is Abisu. He's named after one of the seven lucky gods of Japan. According to legend, he will bring wealth and prosperity to anybody who evokes his name. So don't forget to write his name in the comments or you'll bring dishonor to your whole portfolio. And check out this video right here. Say goodbye, Abisu.